Making quests for your Minecraft mod packs is surprisingly simple, and I'm going to show you how to do it in 5 easy steps, starting with downloading the FTP Quest mod. FTP Quest is easily my favorite mod when it comes to making your quest lines, and by far the easiest to understand. Just throw the mod in your mod pack, and you're good to go. The download link to the mod is in the description by the way, so just, you know, toss it in. Now the next step in making quests is figuring out the type of quest line you want to make. Now there are two main quest lines, linear and non-linear. Linear quest lines follow a specific order of doing things, like for example, when you start the game, you first get wood, then craft tools, then mine iron, and so on. Non-linear quest lines are quests that all exist under the same category, but the order you do them in doesn't matter. Now, when making linear quest lines for your pack, I recommend looking into the advancements tab for guidance, since most mods have advancements in order of what you should be doing to progress the said mod. You can also use these advancements as a baseline of how you want to build your quest lines, but more on that in the next section. Now, in terms of non-linear quest lines, these are just going to be your regular quests. What I like to do, though, is make a tab specifically for non-linear quests. All just randomized like for example a bunch of exploration quests all together in one tab you don't need to do them in a specific order but you can just complete them whenever you want all right so once you have ftb quests installed just open up your inventory and look at the top left corner and you're going to see your quest book go ahead and click that once you open your quest book it's going to look like this in the bottom right corner you're going to see editing mode go ahead and click that button now you're in editing mode the next thing you're going to want to do is open up this little like bar thing right here i don't know what to call this just open it up and i recommend pinning it at the top so that it stays open even when you're working in this menu now yours is gonna not have these little uh tabs here it's just gonna show your mod pack the plus and it's all blank you can't make quests yet first you got to either make a chapter or a chapter group your chapter group are these basic like opening thingies here and then your chapter is going to be the like inside of this your chapter is what you're actually going to be able to make quests in so if you want to make a chapter group go ahead and just hit that button chapter group and name it we're going to just name it name and boom now you have a chapter group and then to make a chapter inside of that chapter group just hit the plus and then um we're gonna call this chap for chapter now before we get started on making the actual quest let's go ahead and talk about a little bit of the settings and what they are so for the settings, you're just going to hit this like gear looking icon, go ahead and click that and then hit edit file. In here, you're going to get to see all the options for your quest book. So for example, if you want to give your quest book a specific title for this, for the purpose of this video, I'm going to be using Alex's caves as like my main mod to showcase stuff, but go ahead and title it. I'd probably title it whatever your mod pack is called. So if your mod pack is the journey SMP, for example, call it the journey SMP quest book or something along those lines. And from there, once you have your title, you can go ahead and give your quest book an icon. So this icon could be any Minecraft item that you see here. It could literally be anything, modded items included. For this purpose of the video, I'm using the Ominous Catalyst. But if you wanted to use like the ray gun, for example, just click the ray gun, hit accept. And now your little icon and title are up here. A couple more things with the quest book. None of this really needs to be messed with, honestly. You can leave this completely blank and it'll work perfectly fine. I would honestly just leave everything else completely normal and just wouldn't mess with this at all. Um, if you want to mess with it and just kind of experiment, feel free to, but I usually don't. Now let's talk about actually making your quests. So to make a quest, you go into whatever chapter you just created and then right click the screen. In here, you're going to see item, custom, XP levels, visit dimension, stat, kill entity, all these things. The only ones that you're really going to use are the ones that the arrows are pointing at right now. Those are going to be the main ones you're going to use. So there's a couple different types of quests that you can make. Your item quests are basically your player needs to get a specific item. So for example, oak logs. If you want the player to collect five oak logs, you would hit the oak log, accept, and then boom. So now in order for the player to complete this said quest, they need to get five oak logs and then they'll get a reward for it. Now that you have your like little quest, oak log quest, whatever, you can add a reward. So you can do an item reward, choice reward, random reward, or XP. I recommend using item. It's usually the easiest. I'll go into what these random rewards are later, but for XP, I recommend using XP levels and just set the amount of levels. So if you want the player to collect, for example, five oak logs and they get two levels of XP, you can make that the reward. So after somebody collects five oak logs, they will be rewarded with two XP. Now, if you want to do an item as a reward, you can just hit item and then give them a specific item. So for getting five oak logs, maybe you want to give them an oak sapling. Now you can change the amount of oak saplings they get with this button here. And that's that. That's literally it. So once the player collects that, they can get that. 
Now, how do you edit kind of like the title? What if you don't want the title to be five oak logs? You can just go ahead and right click the quest and hit edit. So in here, you can edit all the stuff that you want for the quest. So you can edit the type of shape it is. Just go ahead and click to what you want. I'm going to keep it default. Now, once you choose your shape or whatever you want, now you can move up to the title. I want to name the quest getting wood. Not that kind of wood, but just Minecraft wood. Now your title is getting wood. And for the sake of this video, I'm going to leave the icon blank, but the icon works exactly the same as the mod pack icon. If you want to add a subtitle to explain a bit more, you just go ahead and hit edit and you can edit the subtitle or the description. For the subtitle, you can put what the quest actually entitles you to do. So get five oak logs. Obviously, you're going to type something more descriptive than this. For the, the purpose of time, we're going to just say get five oak logs to complete the quest. A description is another thing that you can add. This is a longer text box that goes under your subtitle and will only be visible when you open to look at the quest. So we're just going to name it subscribe. I didn't spell that correctly. But basically, when you hover over the quest, you'll see the title and the subtitle. But when you click the quest, you'll also get to see the description of the quest. For the purpose of setting up an XP levels quest, you literally just give it a set amount of levels. So maybe I want the player to collect 10 levels. And then boom, that's it. So once the player gets to 10 levels, they'll go ahead and click this to submit that they have 10 levels and then you can give it a reward. Now let's talk about the visit dimension and visit biome quest. Pretty much the same concept. You just go ahead and click it, give it your title, give it your icon and then select the dimension. Now, I don't have any dimensions in the pack, but if you see the other dimensions for whatever mod pack you're using, you can go ahead and add those on. But for the sake of this video, we're just gonna do the nether. So when the player enters the nether, they will be able to get a reward for doing so. Same thing applies to the visit biome quest. So you can pick any biome from the pack. We're just gonna go with the candy cavity from Alex's Caves for this purpose. Hit accept. And now the player needs to go visit the candy cavity in order to complete this quest. Now let's talk about the checkmark quest. These quests, it's literally a checkmark. So if you want to just kind of do an explanation, which I'm just going to show you real quick how I'd set up a checkmark quest on my mod pack. Literally just go ahead and explain the pack if you want. And it's just a checkmark that you can do. So I'm just going to go ahead and put check as the title of the quest. And boom, that's it. All the player needs to do is hit the check and the quest is completed and you can give them a reward. So you can use it to give out freebies in the pack or just to give checkpoints of interest. Next, let's talk about the kill entity and stat quest. These quests are a little different. For your stat quest, it's basically any statistic that's in the game of Minecraft. So if you want player kills to be one, you can pick player kills. The amount of player kills, so let's say the player needs five kills. This would be like for multiplayer, for example. And then you should accept. And then that's it. So once the player gets five player kills, they can be rewarded. Same thing kind of goes for the kill entity quest. This is the same concept, except not through a statistic. So if you want the player to kill, um, let's just say a hundred chicken, let's go with that. Of course, edit title, icon, except. So once the player kills a hundred chickens, they can then get a reward. Next up, let's talk about the advancement quest. Now the advancement quests are easily my favorite type of quest because this is straight up handed to you. Minecraft has a bunch of advancements. This is free quests, pretty much. So say you want the player to get the achievement a CD place. Once the player gets the achievement a CD place for placing down seeds, they will complete the quest. That's it. Cool. Advancements, I'm gonna go into advancements a little bit more when I get into linear quests, but it's literally just this straightforward. Just complete the advancement and you'll get your reward. That's how to basically set up all the basic quests. Nothing too fancy, nothing too crazy. It's all pretty much the same concept as the item quest. Just give the reward, give the explanation to whatever it is that they need to do, and you're all good. <clears throat> Real quick, I'm in my mod pack. I wanna show you guys how to make loot tables. Loot tables are something that I haven't really explained yet. But instead of just doing a singular item as a reward, you can then do a choice reward or a random reward. And how you make those is pretty simple. So if you go into your little uh, gear icon at the bottom, you can press edit reward tables. In here, you can create a reward table. A reward table is a list or group of a group of items that you can just like randomly decide on. So for this pack, for instance, I'm just going to do trinkets. So boom, these are a bunch of trinkets. It's a random reward, right? And you can just add 
a bunch of different items to it. So for example, I can do artifacts. Artifacts, I can make them random rewards. So I can do drinking hat, I can do a magnet, a cross, I don't know, night vision goggles. These are all your just rewards in here. You can adjust the weight of the reward. So if you want to make something rarer to get randomly, just set the weight. The lower the number, the rarer the chance. So then once you're done creating your loot table, you hit accept and then hit accept again. And then in here, now that you have your loot table created, you can then go into your rewards, add a reward, and then you can do a choice reward or random reward. It applies the same thing. A choice reward could be them being able to pick any of these items, or you can do a random reward, which is these items at random. They have percentage of getting picked, so once they click it, it's just gonna be randomly out of those. So it's like a one in four chance to get the night vision goggles if they complete the quest. So, linear quests are quests that are locked by progression. For the sake of this video, I'm just gonna say, you need to get some oak logs, and then you need to get the advancement stone age, and then you need to get five iron, and then you need to get the advancement diamonds, and then you need to get the achievement, the nether. So you need to visit the nether. That's my linear quest line. I'm gonna look at the advancements for a moment. There's a mod called Better Advancements, that I have linked in the description. I recommend installing that. Throw it in your pack, and then, okay, well that's that's not what I meant to do. You need to complete an advancement first in order to open up your advancements. But once you do that, you can take a look at the progression of your said mods. Once you're in here, you can take a look at the order of progression. So for the sake of this video, we're gonna be going with the monster hunter quest. So when you kill any hostile monster, you can then go ahead and take a look at take aim. So shoot something with an arrow. Simple enough. So inside of your quest book, you're gonna find the Minecraft advancement. So it's Monster Hunter. Go ahead and click that. Give it the title, give it the icon, hit accept. Quest completed. I've obviously done it, done the advancement already. But then you can go ahead and open up the next quest that you're gonna make. Go to advancement again. Go to take aim, which is the next one, accept. So you have your two quests in order of how you should progress. How do you connect them? Well, Simplest thing, go ahead and click on the quest that's latest in the progression. So you're just going to right click it, hit edit, and then you're going to give it a dependency. Dependencies are what locks the quest from being completed until you complete the first quest in the line of quests. So you're going to go ahead and hit this dependencies bracket icon, go ahead and click it. It's going to open up this menu and hit the plus. In here, you can see all the quests in your pack. Now, I wouldn't go and click any of these blue ones because then it makes it like a task. It doesn't really it doesn't really provide any insight though so go with the green ones so once you find your advancement or whatever quest that you're going to link to it go ahead and click it and then hit accept and then hit accept again now the progression is once you complete this quest you can complete this quest now say for example i wanted to add another quest on top of this you can just go ahead and right click again and say after take aim i want the player to kill some monsters so let's say i want them to kill five husks so after the player gets the advancement take aim they can kill five husks now how do we link these again we just go back to edit dependencies then we're going to look for take aim in this list now we have advancement take aim and then kill five husks so once i complete the advancement take aim it'll unlock this quest for me to do and then i can go ahead and get the reward after completing it and then so on and so forth Okay, ladies and gents, now that we understand how to make quests and do kind of the rewards and whatnot, all that good stuff, how do you actually plan for making a quest line for your mod pack? Well, the simplest thing I'm going to tell you is literally just play your mod pack. The best way you're going to figure out how to make a quest line in this kind of like format and structure it how you want it, just play the pack and as you're playing, start taking note of all the most memorable moments or the more pinpoint moments that you want to showcase off inside of your quest lines. So for example, on my mod pack, I started off with a quest line checkmark quest that just went over what the basics of the quest line is. And then I had it branch out to just a little side quest you could do. And then the main quest up here, which is the beginning of an adventure, collect your first ender eye. For your pack, it might be something different. It might be like just collect wood, or it might be visit a certain biome, or it might be visit the nether or something specific to your pack. Obviously play it through, get an idea, Get an idea of how the early game is set up and then look into how the mid game is set up. So for me, the mid game involved 
getting dragon eggs, fighting some of the bosses, getting ender eyes, all of that. In the late game for my mod pack, it's then beating the ender dragon and then making my way up to the final boss of the mod pack. Might be completely different for you. It might be maxing out all your create stuff. It might be fighting bosses. It might be exploring every biome. Obviously, every mod pack is different and it all depends on what your mod pack is and what you plan to make. This is just kind of like how I brainstormed. Um, it was literally just play through the pack, take note of what I want to add to the quest, and use the advancements as sort of like a background guide of how the progression system should look. Obviously, you can also just do a bunch of uh, non-linear quests for your pack. There is absolutely nothing wrong with this. If you want to do it linear or non-linear, it's completely up to you. <clears throat> it's whatever fits your pack's description the best. Now, that's pretty much all I had to say for this video, so hopefully you guys did enjoy. I tried my best to break everything down as best as I possibly could, so if you stay till the end, thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. If you need extra help on making mod packs, if some of my stuff and some of the stuff I said wasn't very clear, please feel free to comment uh, down below and join my Discord in the description if you want to come speak with me personally. I'd love to hear your thoughts and insights. This is the first time I've ever made a tutorial video like on this scale. So if you guys thought it was good, even though I was kind of yapping a bit, uh, let me know. I don't mind making another one. I've been talking about how I want to make a video just dedicated to how to actually put together a mod pack on CurseForge. Is that something you guys still want to see? Let me know in the comments so I can get to work on that. Uh, I apologize for this video taking so long to put out. There's just been so much going on. I'll explain more in the description. But thank you all for bearing with me and thank you all for the support recently as well. And I will see you guys in the next one. Uh, leave a like, subscribe, and uh, peace out.